All right, hello everyone, and um, peace of Christ to all of you. We are back on air again, just for a short video to answer someone. Uh, I saw just this video by a Western boy. His name is Head Boy. Um, I don't think he's a Muslim, but you know he is just uh, one more, uh, you know, additional uh, Western who have no idea what he's talking about. So he was telling his friends that he found this video in YouTube. And suppose this video is speaking about what it's called the miracles of the Quran. His account is called Head Boy. Now, for sure, I have nothing against this person, uh, uh, except that's you know we should not say something is cool unless we know what is written there. Otherwise, people will accuse us of being foolish and just uh, you know I mean uh, posting stupid things. Now, I'm not going to play the video of the Muslim who play inside, but I, would, I will tell you what it says in the video there, that the Muslim, they found a miracle that uh, uh, the chapter of the iron is in the middle of the Quran, which is 57, which is equal to the number, uh, uh, equal to the count of uh, the iron. You know, always when I, uh, I listen to people, I, uh, they make me laugh. Uh, I don't know. Am I smarter? Are they, they are dumb? I don't know. I mean, the, the God, he created people, and, you know, I don't know what he made out of them. You see, when somebody says to you that number 57 is in the middle, either he's a donkey or he's a donkey. Because there's two different between saying in the half and in the middle. So the Quran is 114. If we divide 114, will be 57. But that not is the is not the middle. To make it simple for you, if we have, let me go down. One. Oh, let me let me make a space between them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The middle is not number five. That is the half. Are we getting it? So, if when the Muslim they say, if we if we divide the Quran to uh, <laughs> to one one fourteen uh, to two, that will make it fifty seven, and that will make it the middle of the Quran. And uh, and and they start adding numbers like from science have nothing to do with the topic. Secondly, this is number one. So the, 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 the word middle is a stupid to say for it is not in the middle for the verse to be in the middle It have to be number 58 And the Quran have to be 115 Not 114 That will make it in the middle So for those who they are dumb and they don't have like certain kind of intelligence we have no problem to help you secondly for the ignorant one who do not know, all the numbers Muslims they play with regarding numbers of verses, they are not real. Why? Because the Muslims themselves, they agree that there is two kinds of numbering. There is numbering according to Revelation, and this is a Muslim website. Let me show it to you. Missionislam.com. This is not a Christian website. All right. And you can search, you can search Revelation Order of the Quran. You know, you do not need to go by this website, but it's a Muslim website. I'm using it, I just search in Google. As you see here, the numbers of Revelation have nothing to do with the numbers of the Quran today, which means the Muslim today, they change the Quran. So all the calculation they are doing is based on the human man-made numbers. As an example, the chapter of Al-Hadid, the one he's talking about, it's in the middle of the Quran, it's 57. It is not in the middle of the Quran according to Revelation. What according to Revelation means, it's as Allah, he sent it down. So according to the Revelation, the chapter of 57 is Luqman. If we are search right now, all right, and we put here 57, do you see what it is? Luqman, let me zoom in. It is not the iron chapter. So the true revelation, the true number of the true verse, as Muhammad, he gave it to them, as he claimed it's coming from his God, it is not 57. 
So are we getting the point or we still we are dumb ignorant, you know, we think uh, because this is cool <laughs> This is cool. <laughs> I Mean sometimes Western they are really they act like a bunch of idiots I, I, I hope nobody will be upset from me for saying Western sometimes they act like idiot, but they do I mean they, I don't know sometimes I mean just go and check it out and you will see that this is stupid number 57 is not in the middle of 114. I mean this is a basic mathematic if we divide 114 to 2, that will make it 57. But if we divide it, it's not in the middle no more. Number two, it is not 57. This is the handmade Quran, which made by Uthman. It is numbered by 57. Are you saying to me that Uthman is God? Why Allah did not make the Quran 57 for the Hadid when he sent it down, but Uthman he did? Are we getting the point? So don't make the Muslims fool you. Same time, like another Muslim, he will say to you, do you know if we calculate the numbers of the letters of the word Al-Hadid? Let me ask you a question. Is Al-Hadid exist before the word Al-Hadid exist before Allah, he used it? Who is the one who named the iron that word? Is it Allah or the Arab long before Islam? So it's a, everything the Muslims, they come to you with based off your ignorance. They try to play with your ignorant and sometimes they succeed because most of Western they have no idea and the Muslims they are you know they, they are people of deception all of Islam is based on deception how we can fool you how we can you know th those are Western who have no idea they don't speak Arabic you know you know Arabic is my first language they have no idea what we are talking about so we will show them something and we, we will go we got a guy redhead and he said this is cool guys did you see this wow this is nice this is cool I mean how stupid that is are you an adult or you're a kid are you going to get married soon and you will have a family is that how you is that how you think deep about things or we are just a bunch of kids we throw rocks at the neighbors without knowing what those rocks will do so uh, all the numbers the Muslim they try to play uh, uh, they claim it as to be miracles is false as an example they say to you the miracle of number 19 you know I made videos about it it is a big fat lie I made a video about it you can go and search for it and you can see it in my account so what I wanted to say if you are a Western man you know stop being a donkey it's a shame those Muslims, they are brainwashed for centuries. Garbage in, garbage out. How come the garbage is getting into your head? How you allowed garbage to come to your head? Are you, are, do you have a brain? When a Muslim, he says to you that number 57 is in the middle, are you stupid or he is the stupid? Obviously, both of you, because number 57 is not in the middle. 58 is going to be in the middle if the Quran is 115 pages, oh, sorry, uh, a chapter. Same time as we showed you, number 57 chapter is not at the iron chapter. And by the way, who is the one who named them the iron? Is it Allah? No. That the word iron is exists there, but the word iron is mentioned in the Quran many times before before the one is called verse number 57. As an example, if we search for the word Aaron, we will see it's appear in chapter 18, verse number 96. So how come the Muslim did not choose this one? Or oh, they will say to you, well, this is one is called Al-Kahf. Who is the one who called Al-Kahf? Is it Allah? No. <laughs> it's just because it's speaking about the cave, which is a funny fiction story. And then we search about the, the, the iron we will find is, is located in chapter 34. Then how come the Muslim did not choose this one? He will the, the, the Quran. Is, is mentioned the word al-hadid before before it's mentioned in 57 the muslim they jump it why because it's not called al-hadid but this one is not even the actual number for the chapter same time why you did not read the chapter and see how stupid it is because the video you are posting for me it says that they found the muslim they found that the iron is located in the middle of the earth and nobody knows that and the Quran discovered that why because it's number 57 but Abdul look what the Quran is saying the Quran is saying that Allah he sent iron from sky and he sent feather and he sent the closing and he sent it for war so 
a human being was exist before the iron Allah he sent the iron after but all of us we knew that iron even exist in the blood so how Allah he sent the iron after when you say that Allah he sent the iron after this means before there was no iron in the same verse you know, like a video, I, I was doing podcast like 15 minutes ago. A Muslim, he said to me uh, uh, about the foot of Allah. He said, this is a metaphorical. How come this one is not a metaphorical? Look what it says. We send our apostle. Is it true Allah, he sent apostle down from the sky? With a clear argument. And we send down to them the book. Okay, he sent down what? The book. And then he sent down iron. <laughs> Wherein is a great violence. Allah, he sent iron to kill. This is not a, I mean, people are stupid or dumb, and the, you make you people are really funny and dumb. I feel sorry for women who will marry you. If you see women, they are not getting married from men. I don't blame them. Men these days are a bunch of idiots. They dress good, but they talk rubbish. They act like donkeys. Can't you read the verse so you can laugh? So the verse saying that we send books down, we send apostle, we send iron, and the iron was sent to the man. So the man was before the iron. And that's a stupid statement to say. It's, an, it's a scientific error. I don't know what to say, except I feel sorry for you. It's a short video, guys. Don't forget to download it, share it with your friends, and let us have fun. Islam is made by dump for the dump. Are you? I am not. So if you are a dump, Islam fit perfectly for you. This is a religion, and this is my challenge for anyone who claim to be a person who knows Islam. I am a Christian prince, and this is the website where you can find me, betterion.com or minds.com slash Christian prince. I challenge any Muslim who dare to talk to me about the science what is called the miracle of the Quran and I have books about that which will show you how stupid this religion is this is not only false claim made by the Muslims it is a stupid funny my books is a collection of comedy about the stupid teaching of the Quran is a collection of errors Quran is a book of errors not a book of science Go search for my books in Amazon.com and you will find the list of them. Don't make the Muslims deceive you. This is why I called my first book, The Deception of Allah. Join us. We are always here live in YouTube. And you can go to the website there in the address, minds.com, and you will find where is my channel in case you are watching my video in different channels because we allow people to download my videos and post them everywhere. For I don't care about how many subscribers I have, we care for spreading the knowledge. Thank you very much for watching. May the Lord bless you all. And may the Lord forgive us for our stupidity and ignorance. And the Bible says, my people were destroyed because of their ignorance. So don't destroy yourself with stupidity. Enough is enough. God bless. Thank you.